uh, I'll, I'll just try and bring an analogy about you know if if you're unwell, feeling sick, feeling a bit uneasy, uh, what would you do, right? You would go to a specialist. You would approach your doctor, your physician, and you will look at a clear set of advice in terms of what uh, you would do to get your body in order and get your physical health in order. Uh, IPCC acts in a very similar manner on uh, climate change and on how UN works on climate change. So it helps advise governments on the physical science basis of how these extreme weather events are occurring and what are the causes behind this, what is the scale of impact that might come in. And then it helps these negotiators and different decision makers to arrive at uh, an informed uh, choice of how they would be looking at the next steps. So IPCC is a UN uh, affiliated body and uh, members of the UN framework on climate change are also uh, able to uh, sign off or authorize any of the IPCC activities or reports and that makes it uh, widely accepted and well uh, uh, received. Now what IPCC does it is it impanels a number of scientists and academicians and researchers across different countries, different regions and has a full-fledged working structure to go through countless pieces of research uh, findings, methodologies that have been compiled linking uh, extreme weather events and greenhouse gas emissions to climate change and goes through this in the form of a peer-reviewed uh, mechanism to then distill and analyze findings which could then be presented in an appropriate format. So, so for example, the current report that came out uh, uh, just a few weeks back, Screaming Code Red for Humanity, it had uh, hundreds of researchers across different countries, including the representatives from India, go through 15,000 plus peer-reviewed articles and literature to come up with this sort of analysis and findings. So that's how uh, uh, they, they go through the process of compiling their uh, periodic assessment reports. Uh, so again, going back to my medical analogy, so if you have a doctor who's, you know, certified by an Indian medical association, uh, you know, you would probably want to believe that and not just look at the degree in that sense from which university it is, because you know that he's a certified and a well-renowned doctor. And IPCC being a UN affiliated body, having uh, buy-in from more than 190 countries, uh, with a uh, wide uh, repertoire of experts and researchers within its school base and having this robust uh, research and review process uh, makes it uh, one of the, the most uh, sacrosanct organizations to publish research and evidence on climate change. And uh, as a layman or as a government uh, uh, decision maker or a business person or a student, I would want to blindly uh, refer to the IPCC reports because there is so much rigor that goes into it. It is so well widely accepted. Uh, uh, generally, the process takes between two to five years to come up with a report. And uh, because it is so comprehensive, uh, it, it is one of the well-regarded uh, reflections of the way climate change is affecting all of us. Uh, what's more useful is all the UN negotiators on climate, whether you know, we came up with the Paris Agreement in 2015 or uh, the Kyoto Protocol before that, IPCC reports have played a very integral role into feeding uh, uh, data, evidence and facts on climate and what kind of actions could be taken. So it also goes into these international negotiations process, making it even more uh, robust and relevant.